Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Um, <laughs> a lot of you know, I just got back from Vegas not too long ago. Um, and one of the things I did over there, apart from having the best seven days of my life, was uh, jump off the Stratosphere Tower, which is one of the tallest buildings in Vegas. Obviously, a lot of you guys have been asking for the footage, so I thought I'd pull it out here on Facebook and YouTube. But before I do, um, <laughs> I just want to have a quick sort of word on something which I've done over the last few months, which is... My, change my perspective on fear and my comfort zone. Um, I've made a few changes in my life over the last uh, six odd months that have literally changed everything for me. Uh, doing something which the old me would have said that that's not good to do because no one else is doing it, that's weird, that's different, that's outside the box, that's uncomfortable. Um, and I'm so glad that I didn't listen to my old self because literally my life has just changed and I just employ people out there just to think outside the box. Don't let fear sort of consume you and change change the way you do things, change the way you behave, change the things you agree to do because comfort zone, I'll tell you a few things about comfort zone. Comfort zone is the most boring place to be. Being in your comfort zone, there's no money. Being in your comfort zone, there's no good relationships. Being in your comfort zone, there's no exciting life. All you'll get from being in your comfort zone is predictability, routine, boringness, and an average life, mediocre. So it's just something I would advise people out there to do. Just think outside the box and don't be consumed by fear because other people are saying, this is not possible and I don't want to try and dream big and think big. Because the media as well is telling people out there, oh, you can't get a job doing this, you won't get that pay, you won't be able to achieve this, you can't get a house in London. And a lot of the time, subconsciously, we take it in and believe it. But think outside the box, guys. Dream big and do things that you know will benefit you, not just the things that you feel are safe. Um, but without further ado, here's a video of me screaming like a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I can work with that. Uh. To say I am shitting myself is an understatement. Uh. The scariest thing I've done since this I'm stealing chicken nuggets that my mum cooked at Christmas. Rings up the banner, DIY ganger, great lots of a credit card and a hanger. You can make pop on a stay with a banger, so souls get sold with a drop of a hammer. That is where I am going to jump off of. Uh, why couldn't I have just been a smart child and gone to school and become a lawyer and not been retardedly crazy? <sighs> Stress. How many casualties have you guys had? So, man, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Las Vegas guy jumping, we up in the building. We up in nice, here, this man. guy about to jump off, you know, 855 feet. Well, I, I was about to jump off, but I asked the question, how many casualties have you guys had? Two last week, none this week. Told you, man, too. So, you might oh, be the first one this week, but we're not too sure. Exactly. I don't like I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. Alright, recording, take one step out. Come on out. Turn around, we're gonna take one more photo.
I left my wallet. <laughs> my wallet is up there. <laughs> there was two hundred dollars. <laughs> I want it back. And thank you for jumping off the transfer of Las Vegas. <laughs> Step this way. I need toilets. Just jumped off a skyscraper. Why would I do that?